Will a works 20 volt tool work for you? Well, let's check it out and see when we get back. I'm Tim Johnson. You're watching Shop Tour Reviews. This is the Works WX840L, and it is a dual use tool. In other words, it shoots staples as well as brad nails, 18 gauge to be specific. Now in the staples, it shoots anything from three quarters of an inch all the way up to an inch and a half. And in the brad nails, it shoots from three quarters of an inch all the way up to two inches. Now the question is, can it actually handle the task ahead of it by shooting two inch nails and an inch and a half staples? Well, it comes with some inch and a quarter 18 gauge staples and inch and a half 18 gauge brad nails, but we also happen to have some 18, 18 gauge two inch brad nails and some 18 gauge inch and a half staples to test out the max capacity. It also claims that it'll shoot uh, 500 nails per charge on their two amp hour 20 volt battery and shoot up to 80 shots in a minute. So it does have a rapid fire as well. Let's go check it out. Let's look deeper into some of the features and then we'll use it and we'll come back and wrap it up. Okay, this is an up close look at the Works WX840L and it is their dual use 18 gauge stapler and nailer. Now let's take out the battery while we look at the internals a little closer. Uh, by the way, running their 20 volt and this is their two amp hour uh, battery and comes with the charger as well. So you get the battery, the charger and the WX840L. Now one of the features we noticed right away is the uh, rapid fire and single fire mode. So you get a little switch down here in single fire where you can see by the single nail there, or you can just flip that over and that puts you into the rapid fire mode and you see a little symbol there with you know, three nails right in a row. Uh, so that should allow you to just kind of bump that along and do rapid fire without having to release the trigger. Right up here on the front side, uh, you can set your depth uh, for the nails or for the safe staple. So there are some deep detents there, but it is pretty easy to turn. Sometimes these things are really tough to turn. This one's uh, not too bad. You, you still uh, get a nice firm feel for those different uh, detents, if you will, uh, but you can easily rotate that as you need it to set the the depth of the nail or the depth of the staple, depending on what type of material you're shooting into and probably also the size of the fastener that you're shooting. Very easy to load these fasteners here. Uh, you can see the, the release trigger right there that opens this up. However, it is on the opposite side that we're gonna see that in just a moment. You also get an extra tip here uh, that's the plastic tip for actually arming the device. So you're gonna have to push that down. It's gonna arm it and then you can pull the trigger. So now I'll release it and open it up there and you'll see we've got some staples in here. And again, as far as capacity goes, it will hold up to a hundred nails uh, in the magazine and it will do up to two inch brad nails. So from three quarters of an inch up to two inches. And then as far as the staples on the 18 gauge staples, it'll go from three quarters of an inch all the way up to inch and a half. Now I believe these are inch and a quarter, uh, but we do have some inch and a half staples that we're gonna try in there as well. Uh, and I believe the brad nails that come with it, so you get a few that come with the kit here. I believe these are inch and a half brad nails, uh, but we also have some two inch ones that we'll be trying out as well to make sure that it, it will shoot a two inch and then see what type of materials it will shoot into. We did notice this is a brushed motor, which we quite expect for the price that they're selling this at. And you can see here, typical can motor in there. That's not a big deal. Uh, it should do rather well. We don't expect that to, to hinder it whatsoever. Um, and we're gonna test to see if we can actually get 80 shots in a minute. And you see it says air impact technology. Now, typically in a battery powered or a cordless nailer, brad nailer, stapler, you'll either see uh, two different types of technology used. Either air where it's actually, you know, compressing a chamber or, or uh, taking a chamber and putting compressed air in it and using a mechanism to fire the device, or you'll hear a flywheel type uh, where you'll hear it kind of spin up and spin a flywheel and then it uses uh, that type of uh, inertia, if you will, to drive the fastener. This is using the air impact technology, so it's using more of a, a chambered air effect. Um, so we'll see how well that does. So let's go ahead uh, and we will uh, load this thing up. Uh, we'll arm it by putting a battery on it and we'll see how well it does.
One more thing to mention here, uh, on board this unit, you can see we have an Allen head right here, an Allen key, and that's basically to open up this front side. If we get any jams or anything like that, then this will be used to take this plate off and relieve any jams. And if we have that uh, during our testing, we'll, we'll be able to see that, but that's stored on board the tool right there, so you're not searching for that Allen key when you need it. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna load up, just we'll load up the, uh, the staples that came with it, which are inch and a quarter. So we'll go ahead and load those in it. And then a lot of times you may be assembling, uh, whether it be a picture frame, whether it be a door frame, and want to use some staples to, uh, to fasten some boards together. Uh, maybe you're making a jig for the shop, what have you. Let's put our battery on. Okay. Okay, so we got our inch and a quarter nails in, we got our battery in. So definitely shooting that softwood uh, without a problem with those nails into softwood. Uh, let's see here now, a little harder wood here on top of this PT. So you see it, it's leaving it a little proud and I think I've got it set as hard as it'll go. So it definitely is leaving this just a little bit proud uh, probably in some softer wood. Yeah, that's leaving it quite flush right there. A little bit proud there. Let's uh, change out these staples. And we're going to go to the max here. We're going to do it, go into an inch and a half, 18 gauge staple. That's still leaving it about the same. It's not leaving it any more proud, even though that's a longer staple. That is. So definitely leaving those quite proud in this harder wood. But in the soft wood, it's sinking it pretty well. So on the longer staples and the softer stuff, it does fine. In the harder stuff, it's leaving that quite proud, which takes a lot of effort to drive. Basically, you're, in a sense, driving two brad nails into the same piece of wood on the same shot. So that's not just a little bit of force to do that. Now let's change it out, put some nails in it, and see what we think. We'll use the included inch and a half nails here. We'll do the soft wood first. So it's definitely driving into the hardwood uh, plenty deep enough. Let's see the, or in the softwood, let's go to the hardwood. Yeah, that's driving it below the surface. Uh, it's also leaving an indention there. See if we can soften that up just a little bit. Yeah, there we go. So now we're getting a nice shot there. By the way, dual LED lights on this. So you can see there, it lights that up pretty well there as I back up off of it. Uh, and you see that we can see the blade here that's driving the nail, putting an indention in the wood. But as I soften that up, now we've got it to where just the head is just below the surface and we're not leaving a mark anymore on our wood. And you see here in the single fire mode, if I shoot it and then I push again, I'm getting nothing with my finger still on the trigger. Now, if I go into rapid fire mode, now I can bump shoot it. So I can keep my finger on the trigger. And that's what they're saying. They're able to get 80 shots in a minute. So let's go ahead and find that out here in just one moment. All right, what we've got here, we've got a grid set up. 
uh, should be one, two, three, four across and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten deep. So 10 by four is 40. We should be able to hit those in 30 seconds uh, and that should be 80 in a minute, right? So hopefully we can, uh, we can do that math. So here we go. Let me get ready and we'll hit start. Okay, with my delays, uh, that was a little more than 30 seconds, but I would definitely say you can easily shoot 80 in a minute because I was definitely slow to get started as well as all over the board on my grid. Uh, but I did get 40 shots in in 33 seconds. And again, that was my folly. And we could do that again if we need to, but one, two, three, four, four, four. Yeah, so I've got 40 shots in there in 30 seconds. So I, I don't see any right reason why you couldn't do for, uh, 80 shots in a minute whatsoever. So that's definitely not a, not a hard thing to prove. Now I will say that I can do it too fast and, uh, and it won't power up. You see a couple of those uh, kind of short cycles, if you will. But what I find is if you actually fully depress it, it's able to repower without a problem. So Really and truly, if you're buying this unit uh, and, and you're doing any rapid fire like that, that's probably gonna be rare. If you're doing it that often where you're that good, you're probably gonna be into a higher dollar tool anyway. Uh, not saying that this is bad whatsoever, but let's face it, at 140 bucks for this complete kit, this is more designed for that DIYer or that pro that needs to you know, do some uh, jig building or some uh, you know, some, a little bit of finished carpentry work uh, every now and then, not something that it's their profession, if you will. Uh, but it does very well as far as with the rapid fire. As long as you fully depress the tip and as long as you let it do the full power cycle, it has the power to drive those nails over and over. Now, let's chain the, change these out and go to a, uh, a full size nail here say a full size max capacity of a nail which is two inch 18 gauge which you see it pretty much fills up that magazine now let's see if it'll drive them yeah still no problem leaving those just a touch proud but again if you remember i kind of released on our depth so there we go and now we're driving them deeper again and if we need to go real deep and that's even driving from the softwood into this hardwood and into that PT. And let's go back to staples. And that's the max capacity inch and a half inch staples. Leaving it a little proud. So on the staples, I will say the, the inch and a half staple shooting into the hardwood, it is leaving those just a touch proud. So I would say if you're doing softwood, you'll probably be absolutely fine shooting those full inch and a half inch staples. If you're shooting into hardwood, it's probably going to leave those just a little bit proud. So you may want to step down to say a, an inch and a quarter or, or a one inch staple. In fact, let's uh, go down to an inch and inch and a quarter that they supplied. So right flush with the surface there. But you see here on the softwood going into PT. Again, still leaving that a touch proud on that one, it drove it fine. So if you're just going into softwood, uh, I think this is white pine or something like that. Um, we'll see here.
it has no problem driving those staples below deck or, uh, or you know, actually recessing those. In fact, I could back off the... And let me go back to single fire. Back off a little more. Yeah, so it's... In fact, let's go back to the full inch and a half capacity staples into that soft wood. So yeah, definitely in the softwood, the staples, it'll drive it below uh, surface without a problem in the inch and a half and in the inch and a quarter. The Works 20 volt nail force stapler and brad nailer, dual use tool, did quite well. We were impressed. Yes, it left a few of the staples proud when shooting the max capacity through any type of hardwood. However, shooting in the softwood, it was able to drive those, even the full inch and a half staples below deck or below the surface. Uh, so it did rather well. Now, as far as the brad nails, it shot even through the hardwood and even shooting the max capacity of the, the two inch 18 gauge nails. And it was able to drive those below the surface without a problem whatsoever, even in that rapid fire mode. And the ability to be able to rapid fire at least 80 shots per minute. We had no problems driving, you know, 40 and 30 something seconds and that was even with me messing up a little bit. So uh, even with miss uh, firing a couple of those or short cycling it, if you will, it never misfired. Let me be clear about that. Uh, this unit has not misfired at all. So that was great to see. We haven't had to take the nose apart at all. Uh, but the ability to, to shoot 40 and 30 seconds, not a problem. So will it shoot 80 in a minute? Sure. If you're firing that much, uh, that often, you know, if you're really needing that rapid fire in succession that often, you're probably stepping up to a, a, a quote, better tool, if you will. Uh, but as far as the capabilities that they claim on this, I think Works has done a pretty good job. Now, they just used to be pure DIY that you would see on TV infomercials and things like that. But they're now creeping into that sector to say, hey, we're making some quality cordless tools. And this is proof of that. This thing does quite well, has a lot of features on it. Obviously that ability to shoot a staple as well as a brad nail, hey, that's, that's pretty cool. That's, that definitely saves some time and probably even saves you some money, especially if you're not that often, you know, whether it's making jigs, doing finished carpentry, whatever, uh, this is a tool that could come in quite handy for you. Then you look at the price of, I think 140 bucks all in where you get the two amp hour battery, uh, you get the tool and the charger and the bag, three year limited warranty, that's kind of tough to beat. It's hard to get into a tool for this cheap and it have this many features and capabilities. Hey, make sure you check them out at works.com. You can also find them on Amazon as well. If you don't mind, keep track of us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And would you hit that like and subscribe button, but only if you like this video. If you didn't like this video, by all means, hit that thumbs down button, but would you let us know in the comments why? Have a great day and keep smiling.